You've captured and processed your digital twin, you've edited and customized it to exactly the way you want it, and now you're ready to share it. In order to share your model, just go to the share button right here. By default, every digital twin that gets processed is set to private, which means only collaborators with edit access and admins can access it. And in order to change that, just go to the model page and press the share button right here. Up comes the share and invite window, from which you can change the share settings from private to password protected or unlisted, and sometimes you'll have this public option available. I spoke about this option in another video I'll link to in the corner. Only the account owner has control over making this option available. And that's because by choosing this option, you're making this digital twin publicly available through the Discover site. It'll also be able to be found by search engines. So if that's something you feel account admins and collaborators should not have control over, reach out to your account owner so they can change their settings accordingly. Below that, we have the ability to invite collaborators. Whether I'm an admin or a collaborator with edit access to this digital twin, I can use this field to invite other collaborators and give them either view or edit access. And you can see as a user with edit access, even if I was just a collaborator with edit access, I have full control over who else can view and edit this model. If they're an admin like Billing Frank over here, I can choose to remove them using this trash can icon, but because they're an admin, they automatically have access to every model and every folder in this account. So really my control as a collaborator with edit access is limited to other collaborators and I can choose whether to limit their access by making them a viewer or just removing them from accessing this digital twin altogether. Back at the top of this window, I have a couple options to copy some links. If I just press the copy link button right now, when private is selected, the link that gets copied is the direct link to this private model page. If however, I change this, I'll choose password protected for example, and now I press copy link, I'll get the showcase link and anyone with the showcase link and the password that I've set here will be able to access this digital twin. If I choose unlisted, a password is no longer required. And again, when I press copy, it's the showcase link that gets copied. And this is probably the most common use case where you'll have unlisted selected as your share option and you copy the link. This will give you a showcase link that you can distribute anywhere you want. And anybody using that link will not require a password to access your digital twin. If you click copy embed, you'll copy the embed code, including the iframe that allows you to embed your digital twin on a landing page or your website. And lastly, under options, you can choose between branded, unbranded, and MLS ready. Each of these will display a digital twin with slightly different information. So if you choose unbranded, for example, and then press copy, things like the presented by and contact information that usually appear in the top left corner of your digital twin will now be hidden from your visitors. And finally, the MLS ready option hides even more things like the VR icon, all public details like the address and links that you may have placed in tags. Once you've chosen the showcase option that suits your needs, assuming it's not the default branded option, just go ahead and press the copy link button one more time to copy the link that includes the URL parameter that enables the showcase option you've chosen. And just in case you're curious about URL parameters and how they can customize your visitor's experience, I've linked a video in the corner and added a link to the support page in the description below.